Good morning. On this Saturday, July 6th, I'm Chris Allen here at the Sam Channel. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Beautiful day ahead for us as uh, we've gotten rid of the rain and the stormy weather, and uh, that started as far as the clearing started taking place yesterday afternoon and left us with a uh, beautiful night last night. There was a little bit of patchy fog, and you still may see some this morning, but here's a look at the Plano cam, looking at a really beautiful sky this morning with just a few high, thin clouds, and uh, it is just going to be a gorgeous day. And the thing you will be able to notice right away is when you step outside, it just feels much better. Uh, the dew points are going down, continuing to go down. The passage of the cold front last evening has brought the dew points down a little bit more. And it's, it's going to be just a really nice day to get outside, do something, have that cookout, go to the lake without any worries about the, you know, bad weather. You can see here from the downtown camera high atop Reservoir Hill in Bowling Green. Looking down on the city, a beautiful start there. You're seeing some of those same clouds this morning, and those uh, clouds are fair weather clouds. I don't see anything that's going to bring us anything in the way of rain, at least for a couple of days. We get to today and tomorrow that are going to be extra nice. And uh, so I, I, you know, implore you to take advantage of it because it wasn't so nice on Independence Day. Uh, this weekend is going to make up for that. Here's a look at the newest camera from AAA Systems at the Wingate Hotel, Scottsboro Road and Interstate 65, exit 22. Another beautiful sky across the area. These are just some fair weather clouds that are passing through, and uh, it's going to be a gorgeous day all the way around. Uh, temperatures are going to be um, a little more seasonable. We're not going to have to worry about, you know, too hot or too humid. It's not going to be that in either case uh, the next couple of days. Let's uh, check radar to see if there's anything out there. And there's not. It's all gone. As you can see, it's a totally, well, pretty much 99.9% .9 clean sweep. There are a few sprinkles down east of Little Rock something around Gaston, Alabama. That's it. That is it. Satellite view showing some of those scattered high clouds that are over Bowling Green and Southern Kentucky this morning. But look at all this clear sky back to the West. These are just passing clouds from time to time, which we will see today. There is a kind of a Southern flow here um, that's coming out of the Gulf that may touch off a few clouds, but no rain expected. High pressure is in control. It's back to the west of us, but will settle right over the state of Kentucky this evening. And really for the next couple of days, it is going to be in charge of our weather and uh, keeping us dry, which is awesome. We won't have to worry about any rain until maybe Monday afternoon, Monday evening. All right, let's check the temperatures. Speaking of temperatures, we've got 60s going on this morning from the Kentucky Mesonet Network. Some warmer 70s, but that's out ahead of the cold front in eastern Kentucky. But, man, look at this. Head to upper 60s. That's nice. And it does feel nice, and that's because the dew points are a little bit drier. Looks more into the even some low 60 degree dew points instead of low 70s, we have brought, uh, the cold front has brought those dew points down 10 degrees, which means there is less concentration of moisture in the air. The air is much drier and therefore it feels much better. How about uh, rainfall? Well, past 24 hours, the bullseye was east of Bowling Green and along the Cumberland Parkway, an inch, almost an inch here in Bowling Green total, and over an inch 
in Barron County, over two inches in Metcalf County. Big, big uh, target of rain right there. An inch and a quarter, so uh, almost there in Adair County, almost an inch in Campbellsville, Taylor County. Then you go up to Hart County, 1.16. Everybody west uh, missed out on those storms from yesterday. This was all part of that uh, big area of rain and thunderstorms that brought a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings yesterday morning. But then it cleared out pretty quickly. And uh, now we've got some really nice weather. The winds, this is also making the difference in the lower dew points and the way it feels. Winds are coming out of the north and a little northwest. Pretty calm this morning. Um, Not even hardly a breeze out there. But it does. It feels so much better than it has. And really, for... The beginning of July, this is extra nice. Um, Usually we're, you know, we're officially now into the dog days of summer till about uh, the beginning of August, but it's, it's not feeling like it. And I do see that we're going to keep things pretty seasonable over the next few days. There's a look at the blender, model blender, and you can see we're going to keep uh, temperatures mid to upper 80s, maybe 90 tomorrow. I'm going to say around 90 again on Monday because we'll have clouds and showers coming in. I don't think we'll hit that 93. It'll be about 90. Same goes for Tuesday, but Tuesday uh, is when the best moisture is going to come in. And through the rest of next week, any moisture we get, is going to be in relation to the remnants of what is tropical, what is it now, tropical cyclone, barrel, former hurricane, and some of the residual moisture is going to come in for part of next week. It's not going to rain the whole time, but we're going to get the mugginess back, and there's going to be daily chances for rain as we go through next week and the clouds and the showers are going to keep temperatures down at average or just below average. And then into next week, we do see, or the following week, we do see temperatures getting back into the nineties. So it's, you know, the little cool down that we're seeing a little less humidity, it's not going to last very long, but we'll take it. It's a weekend. And it's a holiday weekend at that. And we've got this nice little bonus here. I like that. All right, here's a look at the uh, the charts, the maps, showing what's going to happen uh, the next couple of days. You can see the cold front is east of us now. Some valley fog, especially this morning, and around some of the rivers and streams is where you're seeing uh, the fog mainly this morning and you'll see it again tomorrow morning in those same places but you can see high pressure is west of us so the flow is out of the north uh, which is going to keep it feeling pretty good and looking really good here in southern Kentucky here we go into tonight the high pressure is pretty much going to sit right on top of us late tonight and early tomorrow there's some more of that patchy fog that I mentioned for Sunday morning Here we go into Sunday afternoon, into Sunday evening, and now into Monday. This is where we start to pick up on more Gulf moisture on the backside of the ridge of high pressure. We get a stalled boundary and another one that's coming out of the plains. Plus, we'll start to see moisture from the remnants of barrel uh, coming through. And so just going to keep in chances of rain here. Uh, as we get into Monday, Tuesday, here comes our cold front. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, it comes through, but it kind of stalls out in the Tennessee Valley, uh, into Wednesday, into Thursday. Yeah. There's not much movement. Uh, then into next Friday. Yeah. Still a little troughiness here, uh, with the, uh, Gulf moisture that's going to provide us with a few showers across the area. So 
there will be almost daily chances for rain once we start on Monday and go through much of next week, but it's not going to rain continuously. But I do think on Tuesday, when we start to get that best moisture fetch in here, uh, we could see more steadier rains uh, coming through Tuesday into Wednesday. Okay, there you go. That's it for the weekend uh, or for this 4th of July weekend, Saturday. Uh, get out and enjoy. You've got a day when you can go to the lake, you can do your cookout, you can do anything outdoors, and it's going to be pretty much picture perfect. All right, you guys, enjoy it. Have a great 4th of July weekend. God bless you, and thank you for watching.